But you know, if you want to know what your opponent thinks, even if you're sure, even if you're right, <laughs> not to mention sure about how wrong your opponent is, find the best presentation of it. Find the smartest person to argue with. For example, I'll often teach uh, Aristotle's Politics. I think on the whole it's one of the greatest books of politics, but it begins with a discussion of natural slavery. Either he's meaning something different by what he says and, and by the terms he's using, and that's actually part of it, but, but maybe he's thinking about political life in a radically different way than we tend to in our society. And that's a really hard thing to talk about, but it's something that in a way has to be talked about in order for students to have access to uh, a fundamental way of analyzing political life. Unless you know how any intelligent person could have thought slavery was right, you actually won't be able to develop the arguments for why it's wrong. I uh, read a few years ago and uh, uh, when it came out and really grew to appreciate the wisdom of a recent statement that came out of a committee, of all things, a faculty committee uh, at the University of Chicago on um, freedom of expression. And I think the strength of that statement is that it both recognized the claims about how speech can be harmful but also the, the critical importance of freedom of speech for uh, free inquiry, for inquiry and learning. I like to say about that statement that if anybody had told me the year before it was issued that you could get liberal and conservative faculty members to agree on a single statement about freedom of expression on campus, I would have said, you're nuts. The left and the right are too far apart. They're talking past each other, got different theoretical bases. And then the statement came out and I found that liberal and conservative colleagues can really agree on almost everything in it. And certainly on that question of the priority of free inquiry to the basic task of the university.